Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, does it hurt debate or discussion when someone believes in absolute truth? It's easy to see why someone would ask this question, especially if they've spent a long time debating. Usually, debaters are people with firmly held positions, or people who genuinely believe that their position is the best supported. So it's very rare for a debater to change their mind, especially during a debate itself. Of course, they may change their mind after the debate is over, once they've had some time to think it over and reevaluate the evidence presented, but it's easy to see why debaters might not notice this in their opponents, or might feel that presenting their case wasn't worthwhile. However, really every person with an entrenched position is like this, whether they believe in absolute truth or not. So belief in absolute truth doesn't seem to be related to willingness or lack thereof to change one's viewpoint. The question of whether belief in absolute truth makes discussions or debates pointless, however, does have an answer. In fact, belief in absolute truth is related to the worth of discussions because of one important point about it. The main point of any constructive discussion is to learn or teach truthful information. If a person does not believe that some things are absolutely true and others false, then discussion has lost its meaning. If a person doesn't believe in truth, then no amount of evidence matters in a conversation, so their only recourse is to try to batter down those they disagree with with relentless stubbornness. On the other hand, if two people both believe in truth, presenting new evidence before them is indeed an effective means of changing their mind, because it forces a reasonable man to reevaluate his previous conclusions. So, in fact, belief in absolute truth does nothing to harm discussion or debate, and in fact is necessary in order for them to bear fruit. The key point is to always believe in truth, and to always keep an open mind for new evidence, then hope the other guy does the same. It's his loss if he doesn't. Nobody benefits from not being able to learn the truth through evidence. Next, why is an explanation needed for the existence of the universe? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.